Hey, hello, August 13th, 2014, Happy Dog Farm. Uh, just kind of went through the rows to do a fruit inventory to see just, you know, am I going to get a, biff, a bushel? <laughs> so far, I probably, out of 80 trees, have 100 pieces of fruit. And some of them at El Dwar, uh, very small. So it's been a kind of a disappointing year. Um, didn't lose too many trees, so I count your blessings, right? Uh, as I mentioned before, we had a cold, wet spring. Uh, it's cold, wet now. I had four days of summer since it started raining again. The uh, day before yesterday, we've got over an inch, almost an inch and a half of rain. Check the rain gauge. Rain gauge. Anyway, um, it's currently 63 degrees, August 13th, 63 degrees. We've had overnight lows down into the lower 40s, so not much of a summer. Okay, uh, one of the things I, d I do though by, by doing the inventory, trying to take a look at what I've got, um, I'm, I'm going to come down here almost daily now to see if they start to drop. Um, to, to, to snag them, don't want to lose them, because um, every bit every bit counts as far as flavoring a base cider. So you know, there you, there you go. There's my rationale. Um, you saw me out here working on this other field, and if you if you look behind me, I'm sorry for if it's unstable, but if you look behind me, the raised beds have been somewhat effective. At least I don't have puddling where the trees are going to go. So that is my mitigation strategy for the next planting. And uh, as far as the old orchard, I'm certainly not going to abandon it, but I'm certainly going to rethink if I can do something to improve it. Uh, there's some sections of it I may abandon, uh, turn them into a you know, root crop or something like that, just to use the dirt in the fence. Um, what I can't see here is those tillage radishes are supposed to germinate very quickly. Um, I don't see anything yet, but a two days is probably a little optimistic. But hey, you know, I try to be optimistic. So that's it from Happy Dog Farm. Again, 100 pieces of fruit out of 80 some trees. Fortunately, they're all really good varieties. And looking at the vigor of those trees tells me, okay, suck it up. Those are the, those are the varieties you want to plant on the rootstocks. Because uh, some trees just did not fare well. And uh, call it what you will, terroir, uh, homesick, uh, whatever. Those trees don't do well. Not so thank you. We'll talk at you later.